Hey all. So I'm just going to do uh, the assembly of the bulk of a LoRaWAN gateway node based on a rack uh, A31 um, gateway uh, with a daughter board that allows me to plug it easily onto a Raspberry Pi and I have my Raspberry Pi and I have my waterproof box which I have done a little bit of work on so far by putting a few bolts on um, and waterproofing the inside with gaskets I'll talk about that in a little while I have my antenna which I got from AliExpress it's a 10 B DBI 868 um, antenna with pigtail it's already pre waterproofed and I'll talk about that and I have my baseboard which I've done a bit of work on before recording this which has a bit of the power uh, power over ethernet but we'll talk a little bit more about that as well I've also a power over ethernet box here and um, there's two involved one to inject the power and one to take out the power into my DC to DC converter so um, just to show you first the box which we're going to put Raspberry Pi everything into um, so what I did here was I have a couple of four bolts I cut uh, rubber grommet and tightened it on to the back of the board that way so that that's waterproof now I am going to have a, a bleed hole at the bottom for any water um, so it's just to keep water from going on to the uh, the components inside any moisture that gathers will come down and come out the bleed hole um, so those four bolts are waterproofed and onto a bracket that will attach and clamp onto a pole which I intend on so I clamp onto the pole there so I mounted the um, antenna onto the back of the bracket because I thought that would save me um, tightening up eight bolts rather than four bolts so it's all in one solution with the antenna onto the back of the bracket and the front of the bracket then onto the uh, the waterproof box it's an IP65 rated now also on this I've done say tape and it's using um, mastic tape uh, which is really good mastic putty put on a layer of insulating tape first around the joint then go an extra length around with mastic tape and then extra length again with uh, insulating tape so that's properly waterproof and then bolt that on and just drilled a few holes in the back of the bracket there and give it a paint just to slow down the, the rusting and that comes on to a little um, pigtail I'd prefer to use thicker cable but it's all I had available and I put um, an SMA cable on there suitable to go onto the Rack 831 Loraman gateway. So we'll see how that uh, fits later on. Um, the next thing is the power solution, which is basically an end to end power of Ethernet connection. So if we imagine a power cable coming in carrying 12 volts on the two spare pins. So that will go in. I have a small little uh, cable that goes from the, this, the other end of this, the output to the Raspberry Pi, which is just the LAN side of things. Um, and then the other four wires in the Ethernet cable are used to push out uh, whatever voltage is coming in on the PoE. It comes out here. There was a power connector there, but to save space in the box, I took it off. And I, I wired that up direct up to a 2 amp. Uh, DC to DC converter which takes around about 8 volts to 20 volts and uh, converts that to a stable 5 volts I've adjusted it to output 5 volts so that's for the Raspberry Pi which powers everything on a micro USB connector there and just to monitor the temperature and humidity in the box I have a DHT22 connector there which is connected into a GPIO pin on the Raspberry Pi for monitoring the conditions inside the box so if the humidity goes too high or it's constantly at 100% I'll uh, it'll uh, ping me to check it. Um, so that's cut as rough, rough and ready uh, piece of die bond, and I just bolt um, things onto it as necessary. I was going to do a laser cut acrylic um, case or laser cut acrylic. Uh, uh, I suppose what would you call it? Mounting plate, um, but the laser's out of action in our local fab lab, so I couldn't do that. Um, so but it's fine I mean it works as it is um, I've just pre-drilled you know to save time in the video um, I've pre-drilled space for the Raspberry Pi here and I've mounted the power over Ethernet module 
the DC to DC module and the humidity temperature humidity module there on that so just to I suppose get started and just to do some of the, the mounting uh, this has screw holes so if you see that all sits nicely in there and I'll just um, uh, put in some screws which are just normal where did I leave all my screws okay my screws are all over here let me just get that so I have a bunch of screws and I'll show you how it all goes together as we go right. so first screws to screw on the uh, plate onto the box okay so this is also uh, pre-done which is the cable I have used for the power over Ethernet so I mounted these uh, cable glands two of them in the box one over here and one here which allows me to pull the cable in now I did put on the put on the Ethernet connector after uh, pushing the cable through uh, because you won't get the Ethernet connector through the glands because it's too big so you push it in I'll leave it loose for the moment because I can adjust it the, the amount that's in the box just wrap it around the Raspberry Pi so I'll just push that down there for the moment and um, so uh, first we want to put in the Raspberry Pi now as you see here with the Raspberry Pi I have a little bit of wire a little bit of cable coming off it that's for the DHT sensor because you'll see later as we mount the lower one gateway there's no pins or there's no easy way to get at the pins so i just soldered soldered it onto gpio4 there i've got that the right way around i did i think yeah um so five volts uh for the dht and i have a little uh, dupont uh, three-way connector on the end that'll just pop on the end of those pins those pins there uh so that's all good to go let's put on the raspberry pi itself okay. So let's put in the Raspberry Pi. Now we have to use mountings. These are designed to fit the daughter board. Um, that's going to go onto the Raspberry Pi. So we'll just get the first one in there and so now we have the four mounting points uh, that for the uh, daughter board uh, that fits on top of the Raspberry Pi. So next is let me just talk about this for a minute so this is um allowed you to mount onto the raspberry pi so that goes onto the raspberry pi that way and then this goes on top like that in a connection so it's a, just an adapter to allow you to plug um this rack uh, a31 uh, get lower one gateway onto a raspberry pi directly rather than just using cables and um, just make it a lot more convenient so first we're going to put on the daughter board and screw that down and then we will put on the gateway so just like this and then we can screw those down onto the okay so now we have that on right so we just need to screw some nylon screws down into that to keep that steady Okay. All right, so that's that, and finally, the uh, LoRaWAN gateway itself. Oops, I just might just do that. I like to keep that on because they only have a limited number of make breaks. Those UFL connectors. All right, so this should just pop on. So the connector going on there, and the screw holes, and finally, a couple of little nylon nuts. Keep those in place. Now, I'm just going to give it a little twist, not too much, just maybe a quarter turn, just to give it a nice tighten because this is going to be up on a pole where there could be some vibration. So that's nice and snug. And we'll just connect in the um, the DHT connector in there. Just make sure we got it the way around with plus five volts there. Yeah, okay. So at this stage, I think we can pull through 
the PoE and plug that in. So I like to just loop it around. And let's plug that in. So that clicks into place in there. And we'll just guide it around so that it has a bit of flexibility there. Okay. And then we can just tighten that up. And that locks it so that it doesn't move. So it's coming together. So now the antenna, which has, again, I soldered on an SMA connector on the end of this, and I put that through this um, gland before I soldered on the connector so that I could get it through the, the hole there. So I'll just temporarily mount this on here. I will push the pigtail through. So we push the pigtail through, mount that, and then we should have, we do, the other end of the gland it goes on there. All right, so we can just tighten that on there. So again, I've put some tape around the pigtail so it's nice and tight. And then we can just mount this onto the, it's supposed to go the SNA connector on. Okay. So that's that. There's one Wii cable missing, which is the little uh, Raspberry Pi connector. Now this is, I should have done this earlier probably. So let's just see if we can slide that in there. We can. So that goes into the network port. Awkward, awkward. There we go. Okay, so clink, that goes in there. This other one goes into the LAN port. So we don't want 12 volts going into the. So, so we have LAN into the Raspberry Pi, PoE coming off down to the other end of the, the port. We have our. Let me just turn that over. Now that will go on to the pole. The pole goes through here. But just to keep it from moving around too much, I'm just going to pop on some nuts and washers. Okay. So that's nice and snug now for the moment. So that's our antenna connected. So this is our pigtail with our 868 megahertz uh, signal into our Racket 31 gateway. Um, finally, I'm gonna plug in our uh, Raspberry Pi power, which actually powers the gateway and everything else. So let me just show you down that. So that just goes in there. Might check. So that's in nice and snug. Now, because there's a bit of vibration around, see there I've done before, see I've disassembled it. So I'm just going to put a blob of hot glue in around this to keep that cable in place. Okay. So if there's a bit of, um, I'll just let that go. There, there. So if there's a bit of vibration, that should keep it from, uh, you know, working its way out. There's no way for that to actually just pop out on its own because it's, it's under pressure. So we leave that there. So I think that's fine. Now this might look a bit proud, but um, the case uh, cover of the box is um, higher. So just let me grab it. Okay, so I got it. So this is the cover, see there's plenty of room. There's a rubber gasket in there. It allows me to tighten it on nicely. And then when that's uh, tightened shut, we have four screws that go in and when we tighten them up, 
you know, goes in nice and so I'll just do two. Now good tight seal and the antenna then or the pole goes up through there and we mount that on our on our uh, pole up on our chimney or wherever it's going up on our ch my chimney later on so just to show you the other end of the power over ethernet so i have um power over an ethernet basically it has lan poe and dc so this is the poe end going up to going up to the um uh, the gateway my lan comes in here which it goes into a uh, uh, switch on the um, switch in the local network and I throw 12 volts uh, power supply in here just a normal a normal barrel connector in there 12 volts whatever um, because the DC to DC inside in the box is able to handle that so that's how I power it so I've tested this I've uh, 50 meters of cable on the table here which is this and um, so when I push this in through uh, whatever uh, cable run I might take the connector off and re it, reconnect it um, when I have it in position but this is this is inside the house and this is up on the pole outside so that's why this has to be uh, waterproof and, and so resilient to our water resistant and I'll do a little bleed hole in the bottom so that's about it uh, just let's see if there's anything else in it It's quite easy to open the box. And that's it. Okay. Cheers. I hope it works now. <laughs>